2018 Lexus RC Review. The good points of Lexus RC. Head turning styling means you'll be noticeable in a crowd. Interior quality and materials are top rare. Smoothness and refinement outstanding in hybrid version. The bad points of Lexus RC. Aged infotainment system and controls. Interior ergonomics think off the pace. Not the sharpest driving coupe for the extra bucks. In a place grand with capable and desirable premium coupes, such as Audi A5 Coupe, BMW 4 Series Coupe and Mercedes-Benz Class Coupe, it may be easy to disregard the Lexus RC. And yet, it shouldn't be, they have dramatic styling, includes cutting-edge hybrid tech, which is sold by the company that's legendary for the customer service and reliability. There are merely three Lexus LC models available, making the decision easier than it may very well be if you're choosing from your sprawling variety of models provided by Audi, BMW and Mercedes-Benz. But that's no bad thing, provided you're not searching for a diesel. Instead there's a straight choice from your 2.0-liter turbo petrol, badged RC 200 tons, along with a petrol electric hybrid alternative the RC 300 hours. Lexus dipped out from the diesel market a long time back, following on in the slow selling and disappointing previous generation is. If brawny performance is a bit more your thing then hunt your RCF. Daring Lexus RC Coupe Styling Where to begin on that score? There's no denying which the RC's bold appearance should make a direct impact in the company recreation area. There's a diverse, aggressive interpretation of Lexus's trademark spindle grill, menacing LED equipped headlights, a bulbous bonnet and sleek lines that intersect one another along the RC's flanks. Move nearly the RCF, and things get a lot more exciting visually. Just one look at the bulging bonnet, creased flanks and quad exhaust outlets will tell you this car has enough attitude to travel to Edo Dill using the BMW M4 and Audi RS5. Even if Lexus only sells around 200 types of the RCF within the UK on a yearly basis. Three engines, a huge range in power and gratification. For an entry-level model. The RC 200 tons constitutes a good be the cause of itself, outgunning the 300 hours and the lights at the top end. It's the significance champion on the range, competent at sprinting from 06 to miles per hour in 7.5 seconds, but Lexus expects more customers being drawn towards the RC 300 hours as greater efficiency. While the hybrid version's no slouch, it will require 8.6 seconds to attain 62 miles per hour coming from a standstill. It includes far superior fuel economy at nearly acclaimed 57.6 miles per gallon compared to 38.7 miles per gallon to the RC 200 tons. Consequently, the RC 300 hours SCO2 emissions are just 113 gkm, the petrol only model being better at 168 gkm. The RCF is a thing else entirely. Its naturally aspirated V8 petrol, weighs a sizable 5.0 liter capacity, and develops 475 horsepower, so that it is the most powerful V8 engine Lexus has available. It's shared with all the previous generation is F, but is Euro 6 compliant and thumps out CO2 emissions of 252 GKM and combined economy of 26.2 miles per gallon. The RCF gets from 06 2 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds before finishing its run with an electronically limited 168 miles per hour. You do have to work the auto hard to get there though as peak power doesn't arrive until 7,100 revolutions per minute and peak torque 530 Nm is just available from 4,800 revolutions per minute. Autunly transmissions with the RC 
both the 200 hours and 300 hours have automatic transmissions as standard, an 8-speed for that 200 tons and also a CVE gearbox for that 300 hours necessary mainly because it promotes efficiency. Lexus has tuned the RC more for comfort than sportiness, so in retrospect the hybrid version, using its smoother drivetrain and supple ride, could be the more satisfying in the two. The RCF even offers an 8-speed automatic gearbox to assist you take advantage of its power, the box is slow to alter down especially and may be lower than smooth under full throttle upshifts. At least the glorious engine noise which often only a minute percentage is piped to the cabin, helps make the effort required on the driver seem worthwhile. Lexus RC Interior, Object Lesson in Quality The interior is exceedingly well built and is also finished in many fine materials, with all the softest of leather. All in the plastics appearance and feel expensive whilst the seats can be extremely comfortable and supportive. The rears are cramped, though, which is being expected within a coupe similar to this. The cabin owes much towards these while using same dashboard fronting a cozier cabin. The back seats shaped for a few with a storage facility between chairs. Three specification levels are stored on offer, focusing read more about comfort or luxury RC 300 hours only and premiere. As the F Sport takes cues, such as enormous mesh grill, in the RCF. Whichever you end up picking, you'll find front and back parking sensors, cruise control, a 7.0 inch infotainment screen, an electrically adjustable steering column, dual zone climate control, and lead head and tail lamps. The RCF is amazingly well equipped as standard. Those leather seats may also be electrically adjustable and both heated and cooled, pick the carbon edition and leather is complemented by Alcantara. The Satanov is controlled with a touchpad controller within the transmission tunnel. Standard equipment around the Lexus RC A 10-speaker Pioneer subwoofer is fitted as standard for the RCF which enable it to be swapped for any premium Mark Levinson system with 17 speakers, both present you with a system to increase the sound of compressed digital music files like MP3S. Safety is dealt with with 8 airbags, lane keep assist, blind spot monitor, rear cross traffic alert and automatic high beam headlights, while a pre-crash safety strategy is available being an option. Choose an RCF carbon and a long while using torque vectoring differential, Mark Levines and Hi-Fi as well as the Alcantara seats the auto benefits from carbon fiber reinforced plastic CFRP bonnet, boot and roof panels to lower weight. The Verdict The Lexus RC is really a left field choice inside coupe market, and none the worse for doing this. We love its high quality build and huge amounts of promised reliability, we merely wish it were sharper they are driving, so you could get it that has a manual transmission to work with its excellent engines. But if you need a good looking coupe that's as smooth every other Lexus, the RC must be right increase your street. As for those wanting more excitement, the RCF ought to be a rare and also capable replacement for those more obvious German alternatives. Is it a class leader? No, but it's likable, and when you're a Lexus fan I'll watch ye, the RC won't disappoint. Three power options but neither is often a diesel. Hybrid RC 300 hours S emissions from 113 GKM. Turbocharged RC 200 tons offers more speed. RCF is really a giant killer in the straight line. In a niche where inside the region of 50% of sales check out DC engined coupes, your decision not to deliver a Lexus RC performance with your power plant is really a bold one. Leaving the rapid Lexus RCF aside, there's either two alternatives, a sportier petrol only version and also a petrol electric hybrid. Hybrid powered rain for efficiency. 
In the absence of a diesel, Lexus is continuing to plow a fur using the petrol electric hybrid RC 300 hours taking for the mantle of efficiency champion. It's not the first hybrid coupe 4 being sold in Britain, that honor fell to Honda's insight in 2000, but it's the first within the premium segment. A non-turbocharged 2.5-liter four-cylinder petrol engines pair that has a 650 volts electric motor putting together a combined 217 horsepower. In the interests of efficiency the RC 300 hours s top speed is 118 miles per hour the instantaneous nature of torque from your electric motor negates lacking a turbo for that engine. The combined unit producing 221 newton meters from 4,2005, 400 revolutions per minute. It's on that basis a CVT automatic gearbox is equipped, because it's the most beneficial method of keeping the engine working at higher speeds but only when necessary, hence the sudden burst of engine noise while you accelerate. It's enough to send out the RC 300 hours from 062 miles per hour in 8.6 seconds. As an efficiency package it functions too, Lexus claims the RC 300 hours luxury, riding on 18 inch wheels, will average 57.6 miles per gallon with emissions of 113 gkm of CO2. Turbocharged petrol for performance. If you fancy your Lexus coupe with a lot more pep to use performance, then a RC 200 tons will be the one to travel for. Under the bonnet can be a turbocharged 2-liter, 4-cylinder engine putting together a useful 243 horsepower at 5,800 revolutions per minute. That's enough to propel the RC through to 143 miles per hour while using wine with the turbo apparent since the revs rise. It's a torquey unit too, with 350 newton meters for your right foot's disposal from just 1650 revolutions per minute, surprisingly low down from the rev range. That peak figure is available by means of 4400 revolutions per minute too taking into account rapid overtaking in addition to benefiting the 7.5 second 062 miles per hour time. Like the 300 hours, the 200 tons is available with an automated gearbox, in such a case an 8-speed sports direct shift transmission. Up and down changes are smoothly actioned but left to a unique device as it changes up a ratio sooner than you'd want during harder acceleration. Even here Lexus continues to have an eye on efficiency, however with claims of 38.7 miles per gallon and 168 gkm of CO2 it's not immediately apparent. Lexus RCF, 475 horsepower of usable performance. Back to back that has a BMW M4, Lexus RCF performance will not be all that impressive. Thanks towards the naturally aspirated engine and high up narrow banded power delivery on the Japanese model. It's a harder car to assemble speed within its German rival. To get the best through the RCF, you'll have to rev as regularly to near its 7100 revolutions per minute power peak. The action really starts at 4800 revolutions per minute where it delivers its peak torque of 530 newton meters. This needs means you really have to be within the correct gear if you need to make good progress. This may be rather frustrating, as being the automatic is slow to react and makes multiple down changes as opposed to block shifting like the best on the rival's twin clutch setups. Make no mistake, a faster, more faithfully reactive gearbox could transform this car. The V8 delivers an addictive drive. For all that though, the naturally aspirated 5.0 liter V8 engine is definitely an absolute delight to use, in terms of soundtrack and punch. It helps to make the most fantastic old school noise if the exhaust's butterfly valves open beyond 3,500 revolutions per minute. Addictively so. There are a handful of extra engine notes filtered through on the cabin, 
but they're not the synthesized sound used by BMW. And it gathers speed convincingly too, with huge refinement. The 062 miles per hour dash takes just 4.5 seconds, while the most notable speed is artificially on a 168 miles per hour but it's clearly a soothing enough car drive an automobile slowly, that has a docile throttle response plus a smooth shifting gearbox. But they are driving it quickly, making the most in the power offered, requires some work and commitment on the person behind the tire. Not as sporty drive an automobile as the looks suggest. Hybrid features a comfortable handling balance. Steering not nearly BMW standards. All the components are there to bless the Lexus RC with handling prowess, gutsy engines to encourage this rear wheel drive car for being playful through corners, a compressed coupe body shell that screams drive me and our fondness for that range topping RCF version. Somehow it conspires to disappoint, especially in RC 200 tons guys, which doesn't really fulfill the brief for being a sports coupe or possibly a rapid grand tourer. Hybrid's comfort makes it as pleasing. There's a new feel for the two 200 tons and 300 hours, partly due to different tuning in the suspension of dampers, the hardware is identical along with the hybrid's balanced 50 hours 50 minutes weight distribution thanks to your batteries located towards back on the car. In fact, despite its reduced urgency, the RC 300 hours could be the more satisfying in the pair, a lot more fit for purpose plus tune with Lexus's comfort-focused mantra. There's even more of a supple bias towards the suspension's compliance, which makes it a relaxed and efficient cruiser with easier access to your drivetrain's performance once the drive mode select switched to Sport. Selecting an F Sport derivative brings adaptive suspension on the dynamic mix, in addition to a Sport S Plus mode for firmer springing. It sharpens the RC's responses which makes it feel less inclined to roll through corners, in addition, it alters the instrument panel display and also the slight number of augmented sound piped to the cabin. Grippy handling but lacks rivals amounts of involvement. Grip levels remain on top of both versions, which ultimately helps make the RC 200 tons less wieldy just as one enthusiast's choice, too. Sending lots of torque towards the rear wheels since you power right into a bend doesn't unstick the Lexus's tail watcherly inside way a 4 series or class coupe would. Neither would it feel more engaging versus the RC 300 hours, quicker yes, but no longer involving, along with this segment, that can put off buyers who are sampling the Lexus and comparing it together with the BMW and Mercedes-Benz alternatives. Where greater emphasis may be felt is through the steering. Again, it doesn't deliver exactly the same degree of communication about how exactly much grip the top wheels have when you press on by having a corner as being a 4 series. Lexus buyers switching to your RC from an adult saloon would feel in your own home in this accurate and predictable coupe. How does the Lexus RCF handle? The Lexus RCF is not really a light car. Generally models coming in around 1,800 kg. And no matter intricate chassis systems are applied it can't entirely combat the laws of physics. On the track, admittedly a region many RCF owners won't explore, there's no escaping that heft when cornering. In the dry the Lexus displays loads of grip, something less than obvious in their turbocharged rivals. When you get the spine into slide, the RCF does so inside an entirely predictable manner, simple fact you'll have to get quick to manipulate the resulting slide it's not frantic. The RCF Stork Vectoring Explained The Vehicle Dynamics Integrated Management VDIM system will give you four different modes have fun with. Normal does just what it says within the tin. Sport racetrack settings for your traction control, ABS and stability system. Off, you are all on your own. Expert, 
like off, but using a safety net developed to prevent a spin. The optional torque vectoring differential TVD, standard within the RCF carbon, adds in other three modes to the auto's responses with standard, slalom and track options. As a default, the standard mode settles faithfully between your optimum agility and stability, while slalom increases agility and sharpness of turn-in, and track increases broadband cornering stability. High amounts of interior fit and complete variety of controls helps make the cabin look busy. Comfortable driving position, fine visibility. The Lexus RC comprehensively delivers with this area. Although it's pretty much a direct lift from the Lexus's saloon's dashboard, still it looks and feels impressive, well suited towards the rakish lines from the bodywork. Criticisms than it are few but primarily concentrated upon the switch gear and infotainment. The center console houses buttons, a rotating knob as well as a touch-sensitive clickable pad for that infotainment system. That inside of it is clunky to utilize, marred further by outmoded Satan of graphics. Finding a perfect driving position from the RC is not difficult. There's a wide selection of adjustment about the front seats and also the steering column adjusts for reach and angle electrically. Visibility's fine, with large exterior mirrors placed on pods affording a specific view of what's behind. As you'd expect only at that price, a reversing camera's standard. Electronic instruments, traditional materials. All RCs have electronic displays for his or her instrumentation, the F Sport versions mimicking the LFA Supercar's dials. Turn at nearly Sport S Plus mode plus the central dial glows more red because revs rise. There's a plentiful mix of materials, with Alcantara, perforated leather and plain leather enhanced with blue, white or black accents. If you select the red leather seats some scarlet stitching appears, too. The cabin plastics mix carbon effect with textured and brushed materials along the layered structure with the dashboard. There's no questioning the quality in the materials, with everything feeling reassuringly expensive to your touch. Each piece of switch gear operates faultlessly. That said. The trackpad central controller just isn't as intuitive or as all too easy to use about the fly as rival manufacturer systems with rotary controllers. Subble ride even on standard suspension. Adaptive dampers amplify comfort further. Hushed power trends and superb front seats. Although its looks hint at performance and aggression, unfortunately Lexus RC comfort levels weren't compromised. It's hard not for being impressed by how subtle and well judged the RC's ride is, both on standard suspension plus the adaptive dampers that can as part on the F Sport package. Even for the firmest Sport S Plus setting the Lexus still absorbs ruts and ripples inside road surface easily, transmitting little in the disturbance on the occupant's posteriors. The interior benefits at a pair of very comfortable front seats with a diverse degree of electrical adjustment. Those inside the back are less fortunate, a couple of adults can integrate but it's recommended a journey's short when performing so. They're superior suited to children. A coupe that's as refined to be a saloon. Wind and tire noise are impressively hushed as would be the 2.0-liter engine within the RC 200 tons, press on along with the wine with the turbo becomes apparent but not in a very detracting way. In most instances the hybrid RC 300 hours is serenely quiet, very rarely marked through the high-pitched engine note caused with the CVT gearbox's tendency and keep the motor spinning at higher revs when accelerating. The RCF is usually very refined in terms of its rivals. It's entirely compliant and comfy despite the large alloy wheels, with impressive suspension response and composure. 
High gearing means motorway luxury cruising is hushed and relaxing. Along with decent wind noise suppression, it's almost eerily quiet in reality. Three grades, luxury, F Sport and Premier. Generously appointed lineup. Very limited variety of options available. The standard RC is available in three familiar Lexus trim amounts of luxury 300 hours only, F Sport and Premier. The generosity on the standard amounts of equipment means choices are few and far between, bucking the premium sector trend. Standard Lexus RC Coupe Equipment Only obtainable in hybrid powered RC 300 hours form, the luxury model comes that includes 18-inch alloy wheels, parking sensors back and front, cruise control, electrically folding and heated door mirrors, automatic wipers and LED headlamps. Inside, there's dual-zone climate control, a six-speaker speakers with DAB radio, a seven-inch infotainment screen controlled by Lexus's slightly fiddly remote touch controller, electric adjustment on the steering column and heated front seats as well as a cabin swathed in leather. Safety kit includes eight airbags, a pop-up pedestrian-friendly bonnet and automatic hold because you remain in traffic over a hill. F-Sport trim upgrades Progress to your more overtly styled F-Sport versions so you'll immediately see the mesh grille treatment to the spindle-shaped opening, deeper back and front bumpers, 19-inch alloy wheels and even more advanced LED headlamps with automatic main beam function. Active suspension can be part from the F-Sport package. Climb aboard an RCF Sport to comprehend the Figura hugging sport seats, aluminium pedals and scuff plates and instruments mimicking those within the Lexus LFA supercar. Flagship in the RC lineup, and building upon the luxury's looks and specification, will be the Premier. It's distinguished using a different kind of 19-inch alloy wheels, a substitute Satanif system. Even though graphics look decidedly 2006, an exceptional 17-speaker Mark Levinson surround audio system, the upgraded LED headlamps with automatic main beam, plus blind spot and lane departure warning functions. Optional Lexus RC Coupe Extras Lexus's policy is actually you want more equipment then you definitely progress nearly the next level trim level in lieu of specify individual options. That said, you'll be able to upgrade individual portions of equipment with the luxury and F Sport models through the Premier's kit list. Choosing the RC Premier doesn't preclude you adding optional extras but there's not much of a lot to pick from when personalizing the coupe. Adaptive cruise control costs extra, on test drive it operated smoothly and consistently well. Our only gripe being hose was a little slow-witted resuming towards the preset speed if the vehicle right in front got out from the way. Bolstering the RC's out watch eye impressive raft of safety equipment is really a pre-crash system, built to monitor the trail ahead in the car for other vehicles and pedestrians. If the onboard radars detect an imminent impact visual and audible warnings alert the motive force before automatically applying maximum force for the brakes if they fail to act. Lexus believes there's sufficient demand to warrant the available appointments of an electrically operated glass sunroof. There's a towpiece blind to cover the glazed panel if desired, but which has a superb dual-zone climate control system as standard, we'd leave the sunroof option alone. Lexus RCF Trim, Specs and Equipment there are simply just two styles of RCF from which to choose, the conventional RCF as well as the RCF Carbon, with prices with the former starting across the £60,000 mark, meaning whatever model you ultimately choose it'll be well equipped. Standard Lexus RCF Coupe Equipment As standard, the auto rides on 19-inch alloy wheels and has now LED headlights together with LED daytime running lamps and taillights. The spoiler rises into the airflow at speeds above 50 miles per hour, 
and retracts automatically once you slip below 25 miles per hour again unless in eco mode. If this won't deploy until 81 miles per hour, as you move the oversized front grille includes a special FMOTIF mesh design. Choose the carbon edition therefore you add special 19 inch alloy wheels with bespoke design and also a carbon fiber reinforced plastic CFRP bonnet, roof and rear spoiler. Inside even the conventional car feels lavish, because of high back sports seats finished in semi nylon leather electrically adjustable naturally that both are heated and cooled, aluminium pedals and special F sport tire and gear lever. There's colored contrast stitching everywhere, and inside carbon model the seats are finished in Alcantara instead. The RCF is additionally fitted with cruise control, automatic wipers and headlights with good beam assist, keyless start and dual zone climate control. Each model incorporates a 7.0 inch multimedia screen there's another 4.2 inch screen from the main instrument binnacle, Satanov. Bluetooth and also a 10 speaker Pioneer stereo with DAB. The 17 speaker Mark Levins and strategy is standard for the carbon model. A reversing camera, hill start assist, land keeping warning, and reverse cross assist, which alerts the motorist to any traffic when reversing outside of a blind parking space. Blind spot monitor and back and front parking sensors take the pain from driving. Optional Lexus RCF Coupe Extras You are only able to really put in a pre-crash safety system with adaptive cruise control, a sunroof not about the carbon roofed models, and metallic paint. That, along with the torque vectoring differential, which you may add for the standard car along while using upgraded 17 speaker stereo, these are typically standard within the carbon model, though should achieve top Euro and CAP score, whether or not this is tested. Wide range of driver assistance packages available. Both front seat occupants have knee airbags. Although Lexus RC safety hasn't been verified through the experts at Euro and CAP, its sibling, the Is Saloon, received a 5 star rating if it was tested in 2013. Every Lexus RC gives you 8 airbags including knee bags for both front seat occupants, a suite of electronic systems to bolster braking and handling capabilities, tire pressure monitors, automatic main beam, a set of ice fix child seat mounting points inside the back plus a pop-up bonnet that can help cushion pedestrians inside event of a frontal impact. The body shell is constructed from high tensile steel where possible made to dissipate any impact loads from the event associated with an accident and minimize cabin deformation low. There are many other systems open to further reduce the chances of your RC being involved in the accident. Pre-crash safety product is an option on premier specification RCs and uses radar to monitor the street ahead in the car, warning the motive force if it senses an accident is imminent and automatically braking if this is deemed necessary. The same strategy is also used to the adaptive cruise control option, maintaining the RC's distance to the automobile in front, before returning towards the preset speed whenever we can. Radars can also be employed for your blind spot monitor system warning drivers of traffic via behind that will not have been seen from the rear view mirrors. They can also be utilized for your rear cross traffic alert warning drivers of oncoming vehicles on the sides since you reverse outside of spaces. Hybrid batteries compromise boot space. Rivals offer greater practicality. Restricted rear seat space. The Lexus RC's practicality is limited through the rakish coupe styling. Passengers in advance are likely to have little to complain about but two adults relegated towards the back seats are likely being let enamored with the experience. It's all beautifully trimmed but headroom is compromised because of the tapering roof line and legrooms around the tight side, too, particularly together with the front seats slid rearwards. In relating to the rear seats can be a central closet, 
as the seat backs can be split 6040 to provide a higher level of flexibility when hauling longer loads. How much boot space you have in your disposal will depend on which version on the RC going for. Take the conventional RC 200 tons and their 374 liters of space available nevertheless the batteries beneath the floor on the 300 hours hybrid reduce that total to 340 liters although the seats don't fold and only give a load through sky Ash facility. Both figures are significantly short on the space on offer inside trio of German rivals, the BMW 4 Series Coupe offers 445 liters. The recently launched Mercedes-Benz class coupe musters 450 liters as you move the Audi A5 coupe's 455 liter total may be the most generous with this company. Elsewhere the cabins peppered with sensibly sized storage bins, easy to get at cup holders along with a large glove box. We'll